Hi, my name is Chris Prefontaine. I operate a family company out of Newport, Rhode Island with my wife Kim and my son Nick, my son-in-law Zach, and my daughter Kayla. We buy and sell homes. We teach others to do it around the country. Uh, so we have a buying and selling entity and we have a coaching entity. Every six months or so, I look into, you know, what brain, what, what mastermind groups can I belong to? Who should I seek out next year for a mentor? And this goes on every six months, six to 12 months. Well, I had the fortunate experience to spend a few hours with uh, Dr. Joe this past summer uh, at dinner. And actually, he brought one of his partners as well, which was a great surprise because it just added to the conversation and to the progress we made. And I got to tell you, I, I felt compelled to shoot Joe a video because the ideas, the brainstorms, the connections, like literally connections made when we were sitting there that I went and acted on literally in the, at the hotel that night was just, um, I, I'm still measuring it. I'll give you an exact uh, uh, um, example of that. The income generated that I can, and I haven't shared this with Joe yet, that I can directly attribute to the ideas, brainstorms, and connections that I made at that dinner, that coaching session, uh, have already resulted in a couple hundred thousand dollars. And the only reason it's not more is because the project, because of one connection primarily, that Joe helped me get, the project is still ongoing. And it just launched. And I can attribute that much to it. I will tell you that that will be over a million dollars. Over a million dollars, without exaggeration. So. When you look at return on investment, I always look at, I went to this mastermind group, but you know, what did it, what did it, how did I get out of it? What takeaway did I get out of it? I went and talked to this mentor or I had a coaching a relationship. What did I get out of it? Can't get much better than that. So if you're considering doing any kind of coaching or consulting or time with Joe, I can't stress enough. The, the experiences he's been through, the successes, the failures, uh, on and on has been immense. And that's why I was fortunate enough to have him on my podcast and fortunate enough to spend some time with him. And I really encourage you to do the exact same thing. Joe, thank you from the bottom of my heart for all that you do, continue to do, and for the relationship we have. I look forward to seeing you soon.